Ichimoku can give traders a broader perspective on market movements because traders often fall into the trap of focusing too closely on price action without taking into account the bigger picture. Ichimoku is more than just an indicator. It is an entire trading system that provides everything you need, from finding potential support and resistance to trend identification, volatility, proper stop-loss placement, and much more. But before I go any further, let me first introduce you to the key components of the Ichimoku system. The first component is called Tenkan Sen. You may know it as the conversion line or fast line, but I prefer the original name Tenkan Sen, so I'll stick with that. Tenkan Sen is essentially a modified version of a simple moving average, but with a twist. It is calculated by taking the highest high and the lowest low of the last nine periods and dividing the sum by two. That might sound complicated, but it's actually quite simple. The following chart will make it easier for you to understand. Here is the daily gold chart. We will pinpoint the exact location of the Tenkinson for each candle plotted on the chart following the emergence of this doji. For the first candle, we use the measure tool on the left and look back eight candles. The reason is that this tool doesn't take into account the current candle. Similarly, if we want to count 26 candles into the future, we need to count 25 candles forward, and so on. Next, we identify our 9-bar trading range using the rectangle tool. We then choose the highest high of the range as the upper side of the rectangle and the lowest low of the range as the lower side of the rectangle. Then we find the midpoint between these two levels and mark it with a dot. We repeat this process to determine the exact location of Tenkan Sen for each candle. Remember, this is just a quick illustration to clarify to you how Tenkan Sen is calculated. However, most trading platforms can automatically draw various Ichimoku lines in a fraction of a second, saving hours of time. Once you identify the locations of the dots, all you need to do is connect them with a line. If we double-click on the indicator title and check the conversion line box, which as I mentioned earlier is the fancy name for Tenkan Sen, you'll see that Tenkan Sen is simply a line that connects these dots, right? Now let's compare Tenkinson with the simple moving average. As you can see, Tenkinson is more sensitive to price movements than a simple moving average. Notice how smooth the SMA looks compared to the more choppy movements of Tenkinson. At this point, I won't go into more detail about using Tenkinson, because we first need to know all the different components of the Ichimoku trading system. Keep in mind that Ichimoku's elements are interconnected and must be used together to get the most accurate results. But if I wanted to mention just one advantage of Tenkinson over simple moving averages, it's that Tenkinson can provide reasonable levels to trail your stop loss when you are in a profitable trade and want to maximize your gains in a trend. The next component of the Ichimoku is called Kijun Sen, which is also known as the standard line or baseline. The formula to calculate Kijun Sen is the same as Tenkinson. But instead of using 9 periods, it uses 26 periods. In other words, it is calculated by taking the highest high and the lowest low of the past 26 periods and averaging them. By now, you should have a clear understanding of how to plot Kijun Sen manually on the chart, because it follows the same logic as Tenkan Sen. However, I'll quickly walk you through plotting it on the gold chart. After identifying our 26 period range, we take the highest high of the range as the upper side of the rectangle and the lowest low of the range as the lower side of the rectangle, then mark the midpoint with a dot. We continue this process for the next 20 candles quickly. We can now connect these dots with a line to form Kijun Sen. The next thing we want to do is compare Kijun Sen with a 26 period moving average to see if there are any significant differences between the two. Take a look at how flat and large this segment of Kijun Sen is in comparison with the simple moving average. This indicates that the average price hasn't changed for 26 periods. You can clearly see that moving averages do not exhibit such flatness. But how does this benefit us? Well, there's a lot to discuss, and hopefully we'll cover it in future videos. However, as a small tip, you can place your medium to long-term stop loss below these flat sections of Kijun Sen. They can also serve as potential support and resistance levels in the future. 
So now that you're familiar with how Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen are calculated, remember that these are the current elements of Ichimoku. As we move forward, we will also discuss the future components of Ichimoku. The next component of Ichimoku is the cloud, which is made up of two lines known as Senku A and Senku B. The formula for calculating Senku A or span A is quite different from Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen. It is essentially the average of the current Tenkan and Kijun, shifted 26 periods into the future. Now, let's plot the Senku A on the chart to visualize the results. To make things easier, I have already drawn a straight line 25 bars long. I will use it to find the exact location for the average of Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen when they are shifted 26 days forward. Let's apply the same process to the next 20 candles and see what happens. After placing our dots on the chart, the next step is to connect these dots with a line to make Senku A. The cloud's second line, called Senku B or Span B, is calculated by taking the midpoint of the last 52 periods and shifting it 26 periods forward. Compared to other components of the Ichimoku system, this one has the most complex computation. However, the methods we've already used will help for better understanding. I won't go into the steps of drawing points on the chart to avoid repetition, but you should be able to figure it out if you followed the steps so far, right? Now that you know how to draw Senku A and Senku B, remember that these two lines form the upper and lower boundaries of the cloud, or Kumo. This cloud is usually shaded. Kumo is commonly used to identify potential support and resistance areas. A thicker cloud indicates stronger potential support and resistance levels, and it can also confirm a dominant trend. Green clouds appear when Senku A is above Senku B. However, if Senku A is below Senku B, the cloud appears red. Remember, these are the default colors chosen because they match bullish and bearish candles on the chart. However, you can change the colors at any time. Simply click on the Settings tab, select the color for each element, and adjust the line's transparency and width as desired. You can also save your preferences and apply them to other charts. The shape and color of the cloud can provide various insights into current and future market conditions. For instance, a thick cloud could indicate a strong trend. Conversely, a thin Kumo may suggest the trend is weakening, while a flat Kumo might indicate a consolidation period. Nevertheless, interpreting signals from Ichimoku components, including the cloud, isn't as simple as it seems. Kumo signals must be interpreted alongside all the other Ichimoku components to get an accurate picture of the market. Additionally, it's crucial to consider the market's long-term structure and context, as this will help you make better trading decisions. The last but not least member of the Ichimoku family is called Chiku Span, or lagging span. Many traders overlook this component and omit it from their charts. Honestly, this is one of the biggest mistakes you can make. Chiku is simply today's closing price, shifted back 26 periods. It provides insight into current market sentiment compared to the past and confirms a trend's strength. In this example, the Chiku span has been consistently above and away from the current price action for a while, indicating a healthy uptrend. However, after a pullback, it moves into the price action and oscillates within it, often getting pulled into the Kumo. This suggests a period of consolidation, indicating that the uptrend may be losing momentum. In such cases, traders should be prepared for a potential reversal and adjust their strategies accordingly. Now let's delve a bit deeper into Kumo, which is one of the vital components of Ichimoku. The large and thick Kumos indicate significant price fluctuations, and numerous levels of support and resistance in the past. As a result, these movements have created a strong support or resistance area in the present, making it difficult for the price to break through. Whenever you draw support and resistance lines using candlesticks or any other method, it's easy to become confused about where the price will ultimately react. This lack of clarity can gradually turn into anxiety, which can directly affect your trade results. In the Ichimoku system, Kumo can save us from this confusion. 
In fact, you can avoid drawing various support and resistance lines based on different methods, since many of them do more harm than good. Therefore, based on everything discussed, this thick green kumo represents a very strong support area that candles cannot easily penetrate. Even if they do, trading inside the kumo carries a high risk. When it comes to kumo breakouts, candles often prefer thinner areas. However, this tendency is not a hard and fast rule, and you'll learn about counterexamples as you go. Unlike a thick kumo, a thin cloud suggests that there have been relatively fewer fluctuations in that particular area in the past. Candles usually tend to retrace towards the Kijun Sen after a significant deviation from it, while the Kijun Sen enters a period of flatness for a while. For instance, imagine the price going on a wild ride, either shooting up or plummeting. Suddenly, the Kijun Sen decides to take a break and stays flat for an extended duration. When faced with such a situation, traders need to predict how the price will respond. This may include a noticeable trend change, a significant retracement, or at the very least, a period of sideways movement. Given these circumstances, paying close attention to Tenkan Sen's behavior is especially important. Here we can observe that Tenkan Sen has acted as strong resistance for quite some time. Even when the price broke away from this resistance partially, the Kijun Sen immediately came into play, acting as a secondary layer of resistance. Therefore, the price remained below that level and the market continued to decline. Moving forward, when we closely examine the Tenkan Sen's behavior, we realize that as it moves below the candles, it transforms from acting as a resistance to functioning as a support. Therefore, the hypothesis that the market is changing trends is more likely to be confirmed. Here's another scenario that may interest you. If the Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen move in tandem, without any distance between them, expect big moves in the market. Here, you can see that after hovering above a thick green cloud for some time, the price suddenly breaks through it with a strong bearish candle. Additionally, the future Kumo turns red, and both Senku lines move downward. In the meantime, Chiku Span remains in the open space, separated from price and cloud. However, what caught my attention the most was the convergence of the Tenkan and Kijun. This confluence can create formidable resistance to the price, and potentially lead to a major market downturn. Moving forward, as the Kijun Sen flattens out, the price pulls back. However, this upward move is interrupted by the formation of a doji with a long upper shadow known as the evening star. This is a potent reversal candlestick pattern that has formed just below the cloud. In the meantime, we can observe that the Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen have converged again. Here, the Kumo, Tenkan, and Kijun have formed a strong barrier that prevents the price from crossing it. Therefore, it might be prudent to consider entering a short position at this point. Moving forward, we can see that the Tenkan Sen acts like exceptionally strong resistance, holding the price down and keeping it in check. This is also reflected in the Kijun Sen, confirming the price decline. However, gradually, the Kijun Sen starts to flatten out, as if putting the brakes on the price. The market appears to be slowing down. Here's the interesting part. Tenkan Sen switches roles from resistance to support. Considering this, if you enter to sell trade at higher levels, now might be a good time to exit the market. Another remarkable aspect of the Ichimoku strategy, which sets it apart from other trading systems, is the unique type of support and resistance that Kumo creates in certain situations. If you have been involved in the markets even for a short period of time, you are likely familiar with horizontal and diagonal support and resistance lines. Horizontal support or resistance levels are drawn based on swing highs or swing lows, while diagonal support or resistance can be represented by trend lines or channels. In contrast, Kumo presents them in an entirely different way. As well as providing support and resistance lines in the mentioned manner, Kumo can also generate these levels in the form of zigzags, convex, or concave shapes, and other patterns. This is just one of the distinguishing features of this trading system, compared to indicators that, in most cases, only show general market direction. Even so, they have a significant margin of error. The Ichimoku system provides a highly powerful formation of multi-layered support and resistance when both the Kijun Sen and the Kumo are exceptionally flat and aligned with each other. In such a scenario, 
If this solid support or resistance level is broken, the price is likely to experience significant volatility and make substantial moves. In this example, we can observe that after a prolonged downtrend below a powerful Kumo, the price is clearly losing its downward momentum. When the price spiked against the trend, it initially appeared to signal a reversal. However, as you can see, there is a thick Kumo ahead, which presents a significant challenge for the price to break through. Following that, the price went through a consolidation phase, gaining strength. Meanwhile, you can see how Kijun Sen and Kumo are flat and aligned with each other over a long period of time. Therefore, if the price breaks through this powerful barrier, a strong move could follow. As you can see, the price has finally moved past this area with a strong bullish candle. This gives you a final signal to enter a buy trade. But when is the best time to exit? There are several methods for setting profit levels in the Ichimoku system. Here, we can use a level at which Kijun Sen and Kumo previously aligned. This is a potential exit point for all or part of your trades. Following the breakout, the price retraced to this level and continued its upward move, so we might see more gains. Another place to exit your trades is an area where Kijun Sen and Kumo have formed consecutive peaks, which I have marked here as a yellow band. We will encounter many such areas in the future, but this seemed like a good place to start. Upon reaching this area, the price strongly reacted and ultimately ended its uptrend. 